targeted for France. Breaking news. Surreal gone versus... Have you heard about this, guys? Tai Tiavasa. What do you think? Interesting match. Tai Tiavasa can make anything interesting. Tai Tiavasa is a winner. There's some guys that you come across. Oh, he's great at this. He's decorated in that. He was a champion of this. He was an Olympian here. But there's some guys that are just winners. It's the great intangible. What does that mean? Well, he can deal with pressure. He can deal with stress. The bigger the moment, the harder the opponent. These things don't bother him. He's going to go hard the whole time. He's not a clock watcher. He's not, he's not counting his breaths and thinking he's tired. He's coming at you. He's looking for ways to win. He's a pain in the ass. He won't go away. He won't beat himself. Now, that might sound simple. He won't beat himself. That might sound simple. You have no idea how many fighters lose a fight because they beat themselves. You have no idea how many positions you see, particularly on the ground, that only fellow fighters know were never forced or caused. And we don't out it to the media. We don't out it to anybody. And our own announcers don't even know. That was a cooperation. But a fighter will beat himself. A fighter has had enough. A fighter needs to get out. This is a very real thing. Everybody deals with it. And fighters will even tell you, you've heard this expression a ton of times, where they're talking about, I am my biggest opponent. My biggest opponent is myself. That's what they're talking about. You've got this other voice in your head, right? I mean, it's fight or flight syndrome. Every human being is born with it. You've got to overcome it for 15 to 25 minutes, three times a year. It's one of these things. It's a very tough battle. And I've just seen, never seen Tiavasa get in his own way. He is a winner. He's a black belt in nothing. He's a winner. He's a champion of nothing. I've seen him beat black belts badly. I've seen him beat champions badly. He's a winner. And I tell you that because a year ago, if you would have made this fight, first off, that's not a main event anywhere. Second off, I'm not making a piece on it. No way. Because I'm going to have to explain to you guys what a Tai Tia Vasa is. And I'm going to have to explain to you what a Surreal Gone is. If this was a year ago, truly. Year's not very long. One year ago, this is not a main event. One year ago, this fight doesn't happen. And one year ago, nobody picks Tai Tia Vasa. What a difference a year makes. I don't know who wins that fight. Surreal Gone has been champion. Surreal Gone has been undefeated. Surreal Gone, up until his last fight with Francis, had never been taken down. I don't surmise for you that Ty's going to take him down. And I don't surmise for you that Ty's striking or experience in striking or defenses in striking are as clean and as crisp and as understood as Surreal's. You guys would agree with me. We're all on the same page. Does anybody here think... Ty T. Vice can't win that fight? <laughs> no, of course. We know he can win the fight. you damn right he could win the fight. Should he? No. He shouldn't have won his last fight. He shouldn't have won the one the, before that. Can he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you also got a question, too, right? There's something to be said for momentum. Tia Vasa just experienced a massive event which was going into enemy territory known as Derek Lewis's hometown. And having it, he didn't know if he was going to have them or not. And in fighting, there's really not a home field advantage as much as in other sports. Home field is largely a disadvantage, but the opponent who is walking in to the celebrity's hometown, he's got to deal with that. It's not a big deal for me. I'm personally, it wasn't a big deal, but I was also the heel, right? The boos were my cheers. The louder the boos, the more I charged me up. Not everybody's like that. But Tiavas has already passed that test glowingly, and then he flipped the crowd. The whole crowd in Houston is wanting to do shoeys. Literally was like a rocky moment where the Russians start chanting USA, and I saw it in front of my own eyes, except the Texans were chanting Tiavasa. So don't tell me about he's got to go to France. you got to pull that right off the table. i got to turn the gun back on you. I realize that France has the better, more polished athlete the more beautiful record, the bigger man. I get all of those things. But your more polished, bigger man is coming off of defeat. It's just a question mark. Perhaps Surreal will be at his absolute most, absolute most dangerous. We don't know. Perhaps he's down in the dumps. He's been oddly quiet. Maybe that's just his nature. Everything's going to be very clear when that fight's done. But until that fight's done, there is a question. And I am within my rights to tell you there's something to be said for momentum. And one guy in Tia Voss's momentum's going up, and one guy in Surreal's came down at least a little bit. It's the right match to make. 
To hell with the policy that a guy losing can only take on a guy losing. To hell with that. This is the right match to make. Where does Tia Vasa go if he gets a win? I mean, that's an interesting question, too. Tia Vasa should be ranked number three in the world. I don't think they put him that high. They put him up there. But I don't think they put... They should have put him at number three, but I don't think they did. I'd have to go check that. Surreal has got to be one or two. I mean, for goodness sakes, he's 15 and one. He was beating Francis, and he was just the interim champion his last time out. Like, this is to be a meaningful fight. If Ty Tiavasa is to beat Surreal, is Ty Tiavasa one fight away from a world title? Are you hearing what I'm saying?